morning guys um excuse the way i look i've just like done my skincare routine so my skin is looking very oily right now um and i'm breaking out bad but it's fine <laughs> um i thought i'd film for you today my um like vlog for my nose um i've just woke up it is sunday morning and me and my mum are leaving um at nine i think it's about eight in the morning now um leaving at nine to head off to manchester for my surgery um obviously i'm living in essex so from essex to manchester it's a long ass drive um we're talking i think it's about four and a half hours um my mum is sort of used to that though because she used to drive me to buxton which was about four, four hours as well i think it's just over four hours um hence why we're leaving so early um we're checking into the lowry hotel at about two o'clock so we should be there about 2 p.m um so i just thought i'd show you what i've packed with me so here is my suitcase um i know i've gone over a few things that i'm taking with me on my last video i made but i just thought i'd show you anyway so here is my blanket i'm taking with me um these are all my vitamins so there's bromelain vitamin c um brom i've already said that um biotin arnica pills and just like my normal like skin medication that i take every day um i've also got with me in this bag um all my other medical things so like um arnica cream um my mum actually got me these they're these rescue pastels and i thought um that they're a really good idea just to have some obviously when you can take them before your surgery just to sort of calm you down a bit and i quite like black currants so they should be helpful i've also got things like arnica cream and my sterimar spray is in there if you can see my metal straws like hand cream hand um gel and like makeup wipes and stuff like that i've also just got my hair care so my shampoo and conditioner my like shower gel like a face cloth and um, like heat protectant and then just in this part is like my dressing gown um in here is all my skincare so like my serums and my moisturizer and spf and stuff and then here i've just got some really comfy clothes because i'm not dressing to impress this weekend i'm literally wearing the comfiest clothes ever joggers and baggy tops so there we go oh and just to add i got this travel pillow from amazon i really like this one because it has this clip here so um it not prone to falling off when you clip it in like it's just stuck there on your neck so it's really handy i have also got like a really big v-neck pillow with me um i got the big one first i thought it looked massive um so i thought i would get this one as well in case i'm not a fan of the other one um i'll let you know which one i actually use more but i feel like this one as well is easier like to take with me and carry and stuff to the hospital so that is what i'll be doing nerves are definitely starting to kick in i'm very nervous like shit's getting real <laughs> i feel like i've been thinking about this day for so many years now that now it's here it just sort of feels a bit like it's not happening but it is happening but my brain's just not processing it so i need to realize that it's actually happening <laughs> um but yeah i will catch up with you when i'm in the car this angle is really not pretty but i'm scared that people are going to see me so um we've just got to the petrol station just to fill up um i'm gonna go into tesco now and just get some like snack bits um but yeah journey's starting now so four hours in the car let's go just got some really healthy snacks here just some water and chocolate <laughs> arrived at the hotel and this is a view it's stunning this is the bathroom 
So they actually give you little Elemis shampoo and conditioners and shower gel. That is so cute. Hi guys, so we've just got to the hotel. Um, we're staying at the Lowry Hotel. Um, it is so amazing. I'd seriously recommend if you're coming to Manchester. So my surgery is tomorrow. So tonight me and mum are going to The Alchemist, which is a really nice restaurant uh, in Media City, um, which isn't too far from here. I think we're just gonna get an Uber it's only like a five ten minute drive so i will be having a very big meal tonight because i can't eat after midnight until my op um because being under general anesthetic you can't eat you can't have anything in your system so i will be having a very big meal tonight um i will take you along with me so you can see what it looks like because i've been there before when um me and my friends were viewing apartments for uni and it is just stunning it's right by the quay so you can see the river it's just so nice so i will take you there with me but yeah up oh, is tomorrow oh, oh things are getting so real now it's scary but now i'm here and now the drive's over i'm just excited just so excited for it to be over and done with so So I know I had a shower earlier, but I've run a bath. Just feeling the nerves big time now, and I feel like a bath would chill me out, ready for bed. So here we are. Morning guys, I've just woke up. It is the day of surgery and I am nervous. I think I'm just gonna like do my skincare routine and then just chill out watching TV before my taxi picks me up at half eleven. After surgery, um, obviously I sound ridiculous, but it's because I can't breathe through my nose, so I sound ridiculous. <laughs> um, currently, just sipping some water with a straw, um, and also eating um, little heavy full of yogurt. Um, that's all I can really eat at the moment. I haven't got an appetite yet. Um, and as well, the yogurt's really like um, at your throat. It like soothes your throat. Um, the main thing I had after surgery, which was painful, was my throat because they put a tube down it to help your breathing. Um, so when you wake up, it just feels really sore. Um, and obviously when you're breathing through your mouth all the time as well, that makes it sore. So I found that these are the like soothing it and it's the only sort of thing that I've been eating. Since it's my oh god, sorry, <laughs> it's really gross. This is probably too much information, but because I've got the dissolvable like um uh things in my nose, they're like big tampon things. Um obviously my mucus can't go through my nose. So all of it's going in the back of my throat. Um, luckily it's not been a lot and um, I haven't got any blood in my throat either. I know some people have had like blood in their throat but I haven't had that touch wood so that's good. And the mucus is really minimal, it's like nothing. Um, so yeah, it does sort of hurt my throat when I talk so I just wanted to like fill you guys all in. But I feel like, I feel okay, I'm not in pain. Um, 
sleeping was a nightmare. I only slept for like two, three hours because I just couldn't get to sleep because it's, it's just, even though it's not painful, it's just so heavy and it's just, do you know what I mean? So it's so hard to fall asleep, especially knowing that you've got this on your face. So sleeping is the main problem at the moment. Um, but now we've got the big drive back home in a bit. I feel a bit more awake now, uh, but that should be interesting. Also, I have filler in my lips, but oh my god, they look huge. And also, I can't feel them still. They're still so numb. Um, so <laughs> if you see like dribble, then that's why. But yeah, the whole that whole area is still so numb. I can't feel anything, and you can see like my bruising is starting here. Touch wood, but I thought it was going to be worse, but it is only the day after, so I've got the rest of the week for it to come. Um, but obviously you can see it's there, but it's nothing too major at the moment. Uh, obviously we're taking my arnica pills and I've signed my bromelade as well. So I'm probably going to eat my yoghurt and drink my water and fill you guys in when we're leaving.